Hey guys, Thunder E here, and right in front of me is the 2021 Razor Blade Pro 17. Now, this is a pre-production unit that Razor sent over, so big shout out to them for that. Can't wait to tell you more about this, but before that, I also can't wait to tell you more about our sponsor of this video, Avira Security. So let's not waste any more time and jump in. Okay, so this is the Razor Blade Pro 17. It looks like any other Razor Blade. One of the key features you find with a Razor laptop is the Razor logo right in front of you right there. Nice, clean, and simple. Design-wise, it hasn't really changed much from what you had last year. It's a little bit slimmer, trimmer, little things like that all around. Um, and what I can see here, it still looks and feels very familiar uh, from even my Razor Blade Pro 17 from years ago. Uh, you've got your speakers on the side here that should give you some nice stereo sound. You've got a nice keyboard layout here with, of course, uh, chroma keys that you'd expect from Razer and a very cool touchpad. But in this case, I'm using my Cyberpunk 2077 uh, uh, mouse here from Razer, which does the job quite well. Now, in terms of the display, you're looking at a 17 inch display, 17.3 inches to be exact. But this display packs in some new awesome features. Now, you can get a 1080p, 360 hertz display. I mean, can you imagine that? I don't have that here because again, this is pre-production, uh, but you can go from either 120 hertz to 360 hertz. Now, your 1080p display will be 360 hertz, your Quad HD display will be 165 hertz, and your 4K display will be 120 hertz, which is just a ton of performance I can't wait to try out. Now, Besides all that, you've got a plethora of pro ports. Now, pro users will be really happy with this laptop, even if you're gaming or editing. You've got three USB 3.2 ports type A for all the connections you need. Two type C ports, one is Thunderbolt, and that extra port also does charging via USB type C, which is great. So you don't have to log around that charger with you all the time. You've also got a full SD card slot, Yay for pro users, and Apple's probably coming back with that too. And a Ethernet port, 2.5 gigabit uh, port. So you've got all that, plus Wi-Fi 6E, not Wi-Fi 6, 6E, basically 60 gigahertz bandwidth support, which is great. Now you're going, what is underneath the hood? Well, for the games you're gonna be seeing on here and the kind of performance you're looking for, especially if you're, uh, you know, gaming continuously, you play games like, you know, Call of Duty Warzone, playing some Doom, Doom Eternal, or even CSGO, which I am very terrible at, by the way. Um, this packs in a lot of performance for you to do all the gaming that you need. So you've got the 10th gen, eight core Intel Core i7. Uh, this is the 10875H which gives you some really solid performance. Plus that's paired with either 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM, and you can go from 512 gigabytes of storage to one terabyte NVMe. But in true Razer fashion, you can open this up and you can put in your own storage with an extra NVMe slot, which is absolutely fantastic. I love that. And in terms of weight, it really is not that heavy. It only comes in at six pounds. So this is a comfortable laptop to game with quite a bit and when you're playing those games and when you're sitting down and you jump into war zone and you get into that match it's really comfortable to use this especially with your mouse and just sit down and game and i think a lot of people will absolutely love that and speaking of things that people will absolutely love is our sponsor in this video that is avira security now they provide some really cool services in the freemium model if you will so you can go ahead and download them out uh, either on your pc on your android device or your iphone and they offer a full suite on your pc you can do a full uh scan of your pc to check out what is missing lacking or things you need to fix so in this case on this laptop, I went ahead and did the scan and I could find out that you know my network was safe, there's no viruses. I do have some privacy settings I need to fix and free up some storage. You can go in and check those details. Shows me I have a bunch of cookies, I've got some outdated apps and I have a few uh, 146 registry entries that I need to that I validate on my system. So a lot of stuff you can take out. Plus you also have a free VPN service you can actually use that you can also upgrade to give you more bandwidth across uh, if you want to. 
Plus, when you use it on your smartphone, you have that cross synergy of basically covering your smartphone with the same features that you found on this service that you have on the PC as well. Really solid, I do like it because it gives you an in-depth uh, look at what you need to do on your system in terms of protection, security, plus you can start free and you can pay for more services as you go along. So definitely check out Avira Security for more and uh, I'll leave a link down for you guys below. So back to the games at hand. And we checked out a couple of games on this system. As I mentioned, it packs in a lot of performance. The first game, of course, is Call of Duty Warzone. It's a game I like to play. And on laptops, usually, I get about 60 frames per second. And Warzone is one of those games that is poorly optimized. But what I found with this laptop running a 3070, and by the way, you can either get it with a 3060, 3070, or 3080, is that I was getting roughly between 75 to about 90 frames per second on Warzone at the highest settings, uh, and also gaming at uh, my display currently is at uh, 1440. So that was actually pretty cool to see, to see that Warzone actually ran really well. All right, guys, the very next game I got to check out on the system is CSGO. And CSGO did a tremendous job here. I mean, 284 frames per second. I mean, this is really nice to see on a gaming laptop on the Razer Blade 17 Pro, um, again, packed with the 3070 RTX. It's truly impressive, range between 260 to 284 frames. I know it's an older game, but I am excited to see this kind of frame rates. When we move over to a game like um, Doom Eternal, we're able to push the boundaries quite well, got closer to 200 um, uh, frames per second, uh, running at 1080p, which was really nice to see. And yes, I died a lot, and you guys are probably laughing at home, but I just wanted to just show you what that actually brought to the table with, uh, with a game like this. Now, the true test for me was, of course, playing uh, Cyberpunk 2077. We know how graphically intensive this game is. We know how it runs on systems. And I can tell you at its highest settings, uh, running at 1080p, we're able to get about 57 frames per second. It ran really, really well. And again, guys, by, mind you, by the way, this is not a review. This is a first look at this laptop. And this is quite impressive, especially for something that is a pre-production unit. I was glad to see some really good performance from all the games I mentioned. And I think a lot of gamers will like that once it's optimized and you know it's ready to buy and all that fun stuff, you're gonna get some really good performance from this laptop. Now, one thing I do say I do like is actually heat dissipation. Now, when I was playing Warzone, my GPU temperatures were about 75 degrees. And when I actually went ahead and of course measured temps on the system, the highest I got was like 102, which basically is the same as this device gets. My Galaxy devices usually do 102 degrees anyway, or even 104 um, or, or higher. And um, my display was roughly around 90 to 89 degrees. So this actually stayed really warm and cooled very well. The new cooling system on this gets an A plus for me. I know it's not finalized, but I am liking what I see with the Razer Blade Pro 17 2021. I think a lot of people like it. I think these are the kind of cool things that gamers will truly appreciate. The one thing I don't appreciate, of course, is the webcam. It's a 720p webcam and it still looks terrible. It looks really, really bad. Doesn't really do much for me. And hopefully guys, please make some of these changes because we're all at home. Someone's probably picking this up so they can game and do work at the same time. So hopefully we can make those changes. But there you have it. That is the Razer Blade 17 Pro, or Razer Blade Pro 17 actually is the right wording. Um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you want to see more early access look to devices such as this. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. If you want to find out more about Avira security, use the link down below. Otherwise guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.